I grew up in Brazil, I grew up in the south of Brazil, Porto Alegre. And I started with Muay Thai because my mom took me to train Muay Thai and I started for fun, like to just expand my energy. And after that I really like, I started with boxing, to be honest. And then after boxing, like after a few months I started with Muay Thai. And a few years later, like when I was 15, I, I moved to Sao Paulo. And then there I looked for a place and I started to train more for like a real, like to try to become a professional. Muay Thai influenced my life like in everything because I started so young and then like I grew up in my life and in everything inside of Muay Thai. So to be honest, I just know Muay Thai. I didn't did anything else. I just did Muay Thai all my life. So make Muay Thai like I become a man when I was doing Muay Thai. I become like a professional when I was doing Muay Thai. Like I started so young and I just did that. So like influencing everything in my life. In the beginning, I loved Muay Thai because it was like a, ch like a challenge to myself, like to like if I can do, if like I can get good on that, and if I can grow grow as a fighter, like a good fighter. But after I come to Thailand, it's like I fell in love because like it's a so so complicated sport. Like it's a different. I train so many things in my life, and I still train. Like I do jiu-jitsu, I do, I did, I compete in boxing before. I compete in so many things. But Muay Thai is, is a different sport because it's not only about the the fight, what is happening in the ring. You have more fights in the total, you know. Like it's what's happening outside the ring. What it's what's happened before the fight is what's happened in the fight. So many things too understand and that make me love and how much more I was like understanding I like I start to get more interesting and like I never stop just love and then the things start to happen and I fell in love I still love and like every day it's not like only a love like it's like making like I want to learn more I want to understand more and that make me love I love to learn to, to to understand I love to learn so Muay Thai makes me learn every day, so I think that's why I love Muay Thai that much. My advice is be passionate, like have to be really passionate in this sport because it's like a hard sport with, with not so much money on that and it's a really long way to understand, to really understand. Fight is one thing, but understand the sport is another thing, so you have to be really passion and keep going, you know, because we're going to have so many up and down in the way. But the key is just keep going. You're going to learn more and more, and how much more you learn, more far you can go get, you know. My first champion was Jose Neto. I take him from here to fight, fight like, lo local fights here, like Patong Stadium, Bangla Stadium, and he become three times world champion. To be honest, I, like, when the fighters get in that level, like my fighters are now, right now, they, they know already what, what have to do because it's not much to do, to be honest. It's like it's wake up, train, eat, go sleep, come back and train again, and then go, sleep, go eat again, and then go sleep again. But we just have to teach them, like, with the time, like, teach them how to do that better, how to can, like, for me, the, the, the main thing is like how, how the fighter expand his time outside the gym, not only inside the gym, you know? Because to, everybody think too much about, ah, but I train seven hours a day, I train eight hours a day. Okay, but they have 24 hours, and what you do in the other, the, the other time, you know? Training is not only in the gym. Training is if you like in a fight camp, and if you really want to be the best on that, it's about 24 hours, it's not about seven hours, you know? So, we have to teach them how to live outside, you know, how to like do things what are gonna help them to perform, to understand, not only how to train. Train everybody, train. train. To train only the muscle is one thing, but to train the mind is other thing, you know. To be honest, I don't know if I, uh, I already have a style, but I have the style I like, like in my mind, you know, like I like strong fighters, I like fighters who fight forward, you know, like. 
and come red, you know, win and lose is other is other thing. But come to fight, come to compete, you know. I like to make fighters who come to compete, you know. And to compete, you have to be ready, you know. So I like to make them like 100% ready all the time. And I I take things from many trainers that you know who I like. Like I have so many trainers who people don't even know them. Like they are famous, but in the in the Thai like community. community, yes, and not so many people know them, you know. So I, I like so many. I like like one pass away already is a uh, crew Pele. He's from Buriram. I like him. I like other one from was here before in Simpatom Gym. I ha I have so many, and I try to take a little bit of everyone who I like and try to make my style in the way. You know. I prepare them for for every fight they have, not for like, it's not about I want they become a fighter like that, but I want they be ready for that fight in that way. And then with the way and with the time, all that fights gonna make the experience they need to become a, a better fighter, you know. So it doesn't matter my style, my style is, will be not the same, but it's my style to train them, but I'm gonna train them for who they're gonna face, you know, like, so if they're gonna face with that guy, I'm gonna make them ready for that guy. What they have to do in the fight, what they have to be careful in the fight, and then should they become good will be the time, you know. Many fights and many camps gonna make them good because they're gonna train many different ways to, to fight with someone and they're gonna start to understand more for all the fight, you know. I, I decide like every fighter, I come to compete. I, I knew it was a place where you can grow up as a fighter and you can get experience and was what I want for me, you know, because in Brazil in, the, in that time before, not have so much fights, you'd like fight like one, two times in a year, you know, in one year you fight two, three times. But now in Brazil have so many fights, you can compete more. But in, in my time, it not was like that. So I decided to come here. I decided to come here for six months to try to compete how much I can. And after that, I just like, ah, no, okay, let's try to stay more, a little bit more, two, three months. And now I'm 13 years here. It was amazing to get here and start to fight and start to understand, like, you know, everyone, not in Brazil, in, everywhere in the world. You can say you fight Muay Thai, but you never fought Muay Thai if you didn't fight in Thailand yet. Here is other atmosphere, other things. And even in Thailand, have many kind of Muay Thais. You know, you're gonna fight in the local fights here, and then you're gonna fight in Bangkok in some shows, like three round shows, and more for like, like a show, like for people like who go for war, who make to fight, and then, if you can get to the stadiums, and then you're gonna start to fight Muay Thai, you know, like the real Muay Thai in the stadiums, you know, like what what is so many things inside, you know, like gambo, like jeans, like big jeans, like big promoters, and then you start to listen about that, and then this make you like, I don't know if you make everybody, but make me so like curious about all the sport, you know, like, and the dream, the new dreams I get here was like when I start, I stopped to fight. And then I started to get a, to become a trainer, and then my dream was like to try to see if I can do something for that boys. What to do something what I don't have before, like to have someone who teach them what is like for me is like the problem is not is is the language thing, you know, like. In Thailand, there's so many amazing trainers. Like you cannot even count, you know, so many. But to ha to find someone who can teach you not only the technique. The technique have so many guys can teach you already here. But someone to find someone who teach you what to do in the fight and how to do in the fight and when you have to do in the fight is other thing, you know. And then I just try to become that guy for the boys and and see with the time what we can get with that, you know. And in the beginning it was like, I want to make champions. But after that, I changed my thing because I, I did make many champions already. But after that, I start to want to make good fighters. It's different to make champions. Sometimes you're gonna make a champion, but he's not a good fighter yet. He only win a fight where he get a belt. 
but he's not a good fighter yet. It's different to make a good fighter, you know. This is the real thing for me right now, you know. In Thailand, I have trained guys who, like, Pampayak. Pampayak is not the champion right now. He was, but not right now. And he's much more expensive than many champions. You know what I mean? So it's not about what you have. It's about who you are. Thailand is not about what you have. Thailand is about who you are. In the beginning, I didn't think much about that because I didn't think I'm going to get really far, to be honest. Not because I don't want to get far, but because I didn't think it was possible to go really far in Muay Thai. Because one thing is become a, be a trainer. Other thing is to become a trainer in Thailand and make fighters fight in high level here, you know. And in the beginning it was hard because like, not hard, but they don't really like care. They don't really like trust. Like, ah, okay, the foreigner, like, he hold pads, he do something. And then after the things was like, I start to get some things. Like, I start to make the guys win some fights. And then they start, the guys start to get some name. And then they're like, ah, okay, but okay, he's okay, but not much. And then after the boys start to get like with good name and like start to fight main event of like Lumpini, Rajdaman, everywhere. And then, okay, and then the Thai media start to come to me. To be honest, the Thai media start to come to me when I start to make Thai fighters also. When I have my Thai fighters. Because I, I did make a, I have a, before a Rajdaman champion here, Thai Rajdaman champion here, and then we have Narak here before, like who beat everybody in Thailand, his weight class. And then when we did that, the media start to come, you know, and like, and then they start to accept more, you know, like, and then they, but right now, like, right now they like, I really feel they like, okay with that, like they accept, like they, they treat me as a trainer. What is really hard for them to like accept someone from outside to get inside of the circuit and like they treat you. One thing is they talk to you, other thing is they treat you as, as someone who understands what they're talking about, you know. So now I feel like uh, this is one of my, how can I say, like my fighters have the, the belt, they, they are champions, but my belt is the respect I have right now, you know. I, the respect I have. My belt is the respect I have in Thailand, you know, like the respect from people who was my idols before, you know, as a fighter, as a trainers. I have people who like, I was like, like I, I was watching them almost all my life when I was young. And now when I talk with them, they talk with me, like they respect me, me a lot, you know, they like send messages to me, they take, when they see me, they ask me to take picture with them, you know, like this is like, is I think what money cannot get, you know, like the respect I have, like, I feel proud of that the respect I get, you know, like, and, and the, and with, all that hard work, where, where that hard work put me and the, and the G and the guys, you know, and the boys, you know. They trust, they didn't trust, you know. Yeah. I feel, I feel that they didn't trust, like, and I, f I felt like they was, not all, but many of them was like just waiting for any mistake, you know, just to see, just can say like, you see, we, say, we said, we said it's like only lucky or like, Okay, he's okay, but not, not that okay for that level, you know. I, I felt that for so long. Now it's like, I can feel like even the ones don't like me, they give up, you know, because like my work show everything, you know, like I don't need to, I don't need to talk to show me, you know, my work show myself, you know, so I don't need to prove myself, you know, what I did and what I'm, I'm doing right now, like show myself already, you know. And I'm not a guy who like to talk about myself or like talk about the things, like I like to work, and my work show the things, you know, so. I don't, I, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but I don't think much about the future. I think about make my future. And I know I'm working like how I work every day with everybody, with everybody who is like there to put their the energy on, on this and I'm here to put my energy on this, gonna make our, our future, you know. Before, I don't have 
I can say I don't have anything. I only was fighting. I don't have other option. Now I have option to go to teach Muay Thai everywhere in the world. Many places call me to do seminar, to do many things in many countries, you know. So the work I, I did before like opened many doors for me. So I just want to keep open doors for me and for the boys. When they stop to fight, I can send them to like work and have a good life with their family, help their family, and have like a easy life after all that hard work they put every day here, you know. And that's my, for me, the future is that I just want to work a lot now to make my future like I have like more peace in my future, you know, and can give them also like doors, many many doors, so they can see what they want to do in the future, you know. I don't say that to them, but it's like to make they forget everything they, they know already, to start everything new, to start to learn everything new. Because sometimes, to be honest, it's even more hard to train a fighter when they, he have like a okay level already, then start with like low level, because the low level can you can really like train him from everything, from all the as aspects, you know, and teach him everything. But when you take fighters who they think they know already how to do the things, they they know how they know already how to fight, is a hard is a is a hard to teach them to understand. They don't know, and they need to learn that. You know, it's hard to explain that, but it's hard. even guys with with long time here, to be honest, like, that's why you see many, you can, say, people can say whatever, but you see many foreigners, many fighters here for long, but how many foreigners can say they understand how to fight Muay Thai? Not many. I just, of course, not everyone is the same, but I just try to, to teach them the simple things what they cannot like the simple things what they cannot make mistakes in the fight, you know, like some things what like for for who don't understand the the fight, like re, don't really understand the fight, they don't cannot see. But it's is some things in Muay Thai is really simple and makes so much difference in the fight, in the all fight. So that the, the things how to act. How to act even without out fighting. This is one of the most important things. People don't understand why the, the Thai fighters, they are so good. Because, because they, they know how to win with even out fighting. Only the way they act in the ring, they act like they win the fight already. They, like, they, like, we, they act like they, they are ahead already, you know? And this is really hard to teach the foreigners, you know? So how really, do you know that? How do you know that? Because I lost so many times before fighting. And then I learned the language and then I start to learn why I lost, why I win that fight, why that guy lost, why that guy did so much more than the other one and why he lost. Why that guy won 95% the fight and lost 5% and he lost the fight. How, th how this can be fair? But that is the thing, Muay Thai is not fair. Muay Thai is right, it's different. Is who win the right time, who win the right moment. It's not about be fair. And sometimes you win, you you didn't really win the fight already, but you almost win the fight even before the fight because all the things around the fight, from where you are, from which gym you are, from who promote, which promoter promote you, many all that is in the fight also. It's not only the fight in the ring, you know. It's a different sport. That's why I, I tell everybody it's, it's, it's hard to learn Muay Thai. Not to learn how to fight, but to learn how to understand Muay Thai. Sometimes what go behind the fight is even more important than what's happening in the fight. That's why it's so complicated. That's why so many people look the fight and they think that guy win and the other guy win. Because they look the fight. They don't look all the situation and everything. Also the gambling. The gambling think you have to understand. And for me, in my eyes, one of the biggest problems with the foreigners, they fight against against the gamble too much, you know, like 
Ah, I lost because the game, bro. I lost because that, but it's not because the game, bro. It's because you don't understand the game. It's different. You don't lose because the game, bro. You lose because you don't understand the game, bro. It's different. And also, people don't understand. They not against. The gamble is not against the foreigner. The gamble is against who think who they think gonna lose. It doesn't matter who you are. If they think the foreigner gonna win, they're gonna be against the tie. They don't. It's not a patriotic thing. It's a money thing. The main thing is money. They want to win money. They don't care if it's a tie or it's a foreigner or it's a wherever. They want to win. People who gamble, they the job. They work is to win money. It's not to like like someone. They even gamble against their friends. You see people, I have tr trainers here who they grew up with the fighters. They are like brothers. They grew up from from young, like from kid to to like 20 years, 25 years. And I, I have I have seen the, the trainers gamble against them many times. It's not about beef. I like him. I think he's gonna lose. For them it's really easy that, you know. They gamble and who they think gonna win. It's not a who. It's not like me as a foreigner, like normally people do. If you gamble, you're gonna gamble. You can gamble like you have a little bit of like, ah, I think that guy is better. But normally you're gonna gamble who you like. If you like that guy, you're gonna gamble the guy. Thai people is not that. Thai people gamble on the, who they really think they're gonna win. It doesn't matter if they, they are friends, they are. Even family, they're going to gamble in who they're going to think they're going to win. This is a thing I like to talk because not many people understand that thing, yeah, the gamble yeah, thing. But, but you're almost explaining it's almost like it's political though. Yes, because also people have to understand. Gamble is not a, a hobby. It's a job. They dare not because they like someone. They dare to make money. Normally, normally, who come to the state to gamble is is on, is the only thing they do in their life. They only gamble. It's not they like work and then after the work they go gamble. No. Normally who is in the stadium to gamble, they do only that. In the morning they go to check they go to see the check weight, to see how it's okay, how lose how lost more weight, how is like how get hard time with losing weight, how is like how, how who can look more like strong. They, they check everything, they check how they train, they, they check everything, they, they try to contact the genes, like how was the training, who trained with him, like they, they do like 100% of the time to gamble, you know. It's not a thing like, it's not like a, a hobby, they go there and gamble money. No, they do like a, as a job, they put 100% of the time there to gamble. Um. So, like, for example, if I was fighting, right, and the bet is against me, like, I would mean I'm bet to lose the fight. I have the, to know that, this, in, do I need to know this information? That, that, like, that, yeah, go ahead. That's the thing, it's not, if you, you'll be hiding in the game, ball, but doesn't mean you're going to lose, but mean you have to fight more than the other one, you know. That, that, that's it. It's like, it's like a running. So, who is ahead? Need to fight less. Just have to con keep fight, keep winning, keep winning. And who's behind? Just have to come to change the life, to change the fight. So, who's behind? Have to fight more. That's why sometimes you see that guy do much more and he lost, but because he was behind in the game already, so he have to do much more to pass the other guy. But sometimes he do he did much more, but not to pass the guy. You know. Can you say, can we agree that in in this in the in a fight that if I'm be, if I'm if the gamblers are against me, is do I have to if I know that information that I have to fight twice as hard, and if I beat the guy, they lose. My, that's how I, I I I beat the game is I have to knock the guy out. Yeah, because should be on. if you don't, yeah. That's the thing. Like, to be honest, like. It's not like what, what so many people complain, like it's the local thing, you know, like in the fight is the same. If someone come here to fight in Phuket with some, and they make a good fight, in, like a big show in Phuket, like Bangkok show, but they come, like they do all the time, they're doing everywhere, but they come and do in Phuket. 
the fighter from Phuket always not gonna be in the gamble will be more strong on him because people from here gonna gamble on him. That's the local thing. But this is like it's normal, you know, if someone go to fight in Brazil, everybody gonna share more for Brazilian fighter than the Thai. That's the thing, you know. Gamble is the same. Like in Bangkok is different. Bangkok, okay. Maybe the difference will be between the gyms, like a really big gym, then a small gym. The small gym have to do more than the big gym to beat the GBG. That's why you see the fights. That guy is from a small gym, and the guy from the big gym, like, do not much, but he always is, like, ahead in the, in the gamble. But this guy fight, 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 and he have to do so much to win, and then sometimes he win. But sometimes he do a lot, and that guy do one thing, two things, and then he go again, he pass him again. Because that, because the, who the money is on have the, like, have the power, you know, like, that's the main thing, you know. The politics is that, like, who have more money on have more power, you know, so that's why, like, now the boys can beat good guys, because we have big gamblers on our side, you know, on our side. So when you have that, you have the power to fight. Because the only is not the only is what I said before is not the only fight in the ring is the is all the fight, because our gamblers gonna fight against the opponent gamblers also in the money who put more money who is like who influence more the the gambler you know it's like that and it's, it's, a, it's a really complex sport to understand that's why Muay Thai is a, is so hard to understand because normally every combat sport is about who do more. Muay Thai is not about who do more. Most of the time, who win Muay Thai, who do less, but make more. Who do less, but make less mistakes. You know? Muay Thai is not about who do more, it's about who do better. You know? I'm, I'm a hard guy, you know, like I, I fight a lot with the guys, like, like I explain well how, when they do wrong, you know, like, so, the fighters here, they scare me a lot, like crazy scare me, you know, like everybody, like everyone who know the gym, they know, most of the people know that, you know, and I just need to say what I don't want and they don't do anymore, like maybe they're going to do one more or two times and then I'm going to kick them and then the thing's going to change, but I'm really hard with them, but because I know how hard is this sport also on them because all the things we talked before, you know, like, it's really hard for the, the, the foreigner to understand the real way of Muay Thai, the real way the sports work and, the, the, and how the things work, you know. So that's why I say to all my fighters, because most of my fighters are foreigners, you know. We have American, Brazilians, like Spanish people here, Thais also, but most, is, most of them are foreigners. I tell them, because normally the foreigners, they don't know who they are, you know. The gamblers, they don't know they, who they are and everything. So we cannot make mistakes. The Thai guy can make three mistakes and we can make one mistake, you know. If you try to make the same, like if they make three mistakes and we do, we do three mistakes, we're going to lose, you know. We're going to lose. So we have to do, it's not about do more perfect than them, but we have to make less mistakes than them, you know. It's two ways, you know, like, it's like, it's one way I say all the time, but it's, it's you, you can have the plan before the fight, if it don't work, you have to go to the war, it's a war, you have to make the fight, you have to make like, as the Thais say, you know, like, some fighters like Lobo, they say a lot about Lobo, about this, you know, like they say, doesn't matter if Lobo win or lose, but always it's fun to watch Lobo, you know, because he comes to make a, a war, a fight, and then it's fun to watch, you know. Sometimes he don't lo he don't win, but they even like the fight even more than some fights. Some fights when the, he w win the fight, you know. Sometimes when he win the fight, and it's like we have our plan. But if it don't work, we have to go and push the fight how hard we can. You know, is the second plan all the time. So it's up to the fighter now at this point. Yes, it's up up to his heart. You know, how he, how hard he can go because we have to take we have to go hard how hard we can like take everything from the guy, what he have, you know, like, like have to make, try to make the guy give up, you know, so we can win the fight.
if it, nothing works, we have to make him give up. So it goes strategy, and if the strategy doesn't work, how much heart do you have? Yes, it is it's one of the most important things in Muay Thai, how much heart do you have. But in everything, to even live, and live that life, to even, live in that, to even live that life every day as a fighter, how much you have to train, how much you have to abdicate from your life to be here, and sometimes don't get anything. Even like m more in the beginning, like when you're not, you know one, you're gonna give up everything in your life and you're gonna abdicate everything in your life to not even get much money, but to get the name you want to get, you know, to, to get the hope to can, you can get there to where you want to get, you know. I know, no, normally I always I know when they 100%, when they're not okay, when they like, I think because I, I train them, I live with them so much, I, I'm always with them. I like, sometimes we go eat, I train them, we, we, go, we have trips out, like to everywhere together, and we go to fights all the time, and you always know, like, when you, when you are a trainer, the fighters start to be like your family, you know, like, you know, it's like your brother, or like, your mom know you. You, how how the mom know when the when the kid is sick or everything even before because they live with them all the time. I live with my fighters. I know when they okay. I do, I know when they have problem in, outside from the gym. I know everything just to look to them. I know when I have also to slow down the training only to see them when like they okay. If I I push them more hard, they're gonna get sick. Maybe they're gonna they're not gonna. Not gonna be good to push them hard today because not gonna work. You know? So I think be a be a trainer is is not a, how to say is not is not a thing we can teach. Is a thing we have to feel. It's about feeling. Be a trainer is a feeling. You have to feel the to have a feeling of you, all the fighters. Feeling of what what you have passed before as a fighter. Also, you know? normally normally most of the fighters they are poor. You know? The biggest motivation for me is that you know, if you want to change your life, only you can change that. I don't, I don't, be, I don't really believe in motivation. I believe in hard work. Look yourself. You have money, no. You have something, no. You can do other things, no. So why you need motivation? You need more motivation than that. Then don't have anything. If you don't have anything and you still need the motivation. It's better to do other things, don't do Muay Thai. Normally I can tell when they have something special. And it's not even, you know it's crazy after like many years when you start to do this, only this all the time, like 100% of the time. Sometimes I just look at the guy, how he walk, and I know if he can be a good fighter or not. I don't need to see he train or shadow, kick pads. The way he act, the, the way he have his mind, and the way he even walk, I know if he can be a good fighter. If I see the eyes, I know. The eyes tell everything. The eyes talk much more than the mouth. It's not about doing. It's about see them happy. It's the best feeling when I see they happy. Happy for like all the work they have done. Like I just people ask me a lot that you know because I win many things already. I don't mean like. I don't want anything else. Of course, everybody wants more things all the time. This is normal for everybody. But people ask me, like, what's my goal now? My goal is to be happy. I want to see them happy. I want to be happy. And when, I'm, when I, I saw they're happy with everything, well, when I saw they're getting better, it's a really good feeling, you know, like to see they... It's not only winning, you know, like keep you winning, but get better, you know, and you see, like, they have a... They do in the right way, you know, like they go into the right way, you know. Like, because sometimes you see people win, but they don't go to, they, they're not going to anywhere, you know. And it's like about to see they like, they really like going to somewhere. You know? This makes me happy and see how the life changed, you know. Like some guys I take from nothing, you know, and they have a good life now, you know. This, this is what is for me is the best feeling. For them, of course, is win, be, become a champion, everything. Because it's the, it's the dream, you know? but for me it's to see the, the life of them change, this is the best feeling.
right now, not before, but right now, like in the gym, I just need to be there and sit there and everything works because everybody do what they have to do when I'm there, you know, like without talking. You know. I really think about that, you know, like I say all the time, like sometimes I think people get annoying about listening to that, but I really believe in hard work, you know. That's why I have that tattoo, you know. One way, and people say, well, what mean one way? And then for me, it's one way. I didn't did anything in my life. I just, everything what I have, not was Muay Thai, not was sport. was one way, was hard work, was my work. My work gave everything what I have. I didn't finish the school. I didn't finish even the school. And I can say, like, I know so many countries. I have went to so many places in my life. I have learned learned so much in my life, but everything comes from my hard work, you know, from work. Work is like my philosophy, you know, like, if you, it's not like, it's not a dramatic thing to say, but if you work, you're going to get, maybe you're going to take long, maybe not, but you're going to get, but you have to see how much you really want that, you know, and how much you can pay for that, you know, because sometimes it's an expensive price, you know, a really expensive price, like me. I have a son, I, I, don't, I, I didn't see my son for two years now, you know, I'm here every day. I didn't, my mom passed away, I was working, I didn't see my mom, you know, it's an expensive price. But it's what it is, you know, some people don't have choice, you know, that's why I mean one way too, like, I don't have other thing to do. Or, or before I was thinking like, oh, I do this for sure, or I go do other thing, you know, but if I, if I really want to do that, I have to make this happen, you know, so that's why I work so hard. People don't understand, sometimes I know people think I'm crazy, you know, the way I work, the way I do the things, but I'm not come from a rich family, you know, I come from like nowhere, so nowhere, no money, with nothing, so I have to make the things happen, no, no one gonna help me, you know, so just the, like, as I said, you know, motivation, my motivation was I don't want to come back to where I was before. That was my, and still my main motivation. I don't want to come back to where I was before when I was a kid. So I don't, I don't think I need more motivation than that. This is my philosophy in life, is work for what you want. If you work, you're going to get. Maybe it's going to take long, but you're going to get. Depend of you, only of you. It's like I said here in the gym, I say, I talk a lot in the gym with the guys about that, you know. I know many people want more, more from me, you know. I, I can see in their eyes, you know, people look to me and they want help, you know. But sometimes I ask them, you think I don't help you because you, you don't deserve or because you don't help yourself be first? Why am I going to help you if I don't see you even help yourself? I'm not going to help you if I don't see you help yourself, you know. Don't put... People like to put a, a heavy like weight on someone's back, but it's not my it's not it's not my thing, you know. It's you think, you know. You have to make your life happen, you know. I'm here to help and to show you the way, but who, who gonna do the things and who gonna walk the way? It's not me. So I say to everybody here, like, don't expect so much from me if you don't give me what I need also, you know. You cannot expect 100% of me if you give 50% for yourself. In the, of the, in the end of the day, it's not my dream. I, I, I have made my, many of my dreams already, and I'm still here 100%. I don't see you did you, like any dream yet, like you didn't make any dream, you didn't make any of your dreams yet, and you're still giving 50%. You think this is right? I'm the craziest. Oh, you, the crazy, who don't have anything and still not working hard for what they want. You know? like, so, I don't know, sometimes maybe I'm, I'm the wrong person, but I don't know, I, I like, that mentality in my mind gives me so many things and then I'm gonna keep like that, you know, like, I think I changed so many lives like that, you know. I know I'm a hard guy to stay with, you know, but in that way I help so many people already, you know, and I'm gonna keep like that. You know? I think that is the philosophy, you know, like, if you want, you have to want, you know, not only say you want.